I have started this vlog about a thousand times and I've started it so many times. Just <laughs> like, here's the evidence. What's up, Wagwan at a sang? What's up, Wagwan at a sang? What's up, Wagwan at a sang? It's Lexa C. It's Lexa C. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you're not new. And if you're new here, welcome to the weekly vlog once again. So, the reason I've started this vlog so many times, you'll see in the vlog, is I moved. Um, and I started this vlog before I moved. And I haven't had the full opportunity to pick up my camera because there's been so much going on in between. I'm picking up my camera today and I'm gonna start and end this vlog today. I will insert everything that's been happening that I filmed and everything else will just be today. Um, I don't know where to start, but had a bit of meh towards the end of, uh, well, the past couple of days, had a bit of a mess, so I decided not to vlog. But now, I am back because I can't stay away for too long. So today, <laughs> today I have some packing to do. Why am I packing, you ask? Because I'm moving. Ah. Yeah. Um, by the time you see this, I would have moved, so that's just the tea of it all. But yeah, I'm packing because I am moving. Um, I am going to miss this place. Uh, it's my first apartment. Now I'm going to my second apartment. I can't believe I'm going to be one of those people that has more than one, like, previous address. Hate that for me. Like, literally hate that for me. Uh, but, you know, just is what it is. So, yeah, I am going to stop packing. Um, I just obviously, like, woke up, brush my teeth, splash some water on my face. I want to have some breakfast and I want to go to the gym today. So, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better though. I was on my period and it was just not a nice time. Beyonce tickets dropped today and I did not get any because I was sleeping because of menstrual fatigue and uh, I'm trying not to be upset about it but one thing about me, my whole core crook, I'm going to be at Beyonce because she's coming to London. I have to see her. Anyway, let's get on with my day. So if this isn't the sweetest thing ever, I don't know what is but... I know I said I was having a mare last week. My work sent me flowers. It's the cutest thing ever. guys so we forgot to vlog it's even double vlog hi vlogs <laughs> literally my camera's even so, upstairs anyway bye yeah, anyway bye hi vlog um it's been so far so far so chilled um i'll show you guys the packing later this evening as you can see makai came over earlier i did not vlog while she was over uh, these are our whispering to the chocolate brothers over here i'm whispering because ashley's eating like she's pregnant <laughs> <laughs> we're having a little girls night um so we're gonna go down to the cinema room um and we're gonna have a chill time and we're gonna eat and watch love island which is a good vibe so we're just prepping like we're trying to figure out what we're gonna have to eat while we go down there oh i did show you my flowers let me show you my bouquet <laughs> actually i don't want to shout my bouquet so cute Okay, so we're in the screening room. We're gonna watch Love Island down here. Super cute. Um, but yeah. Yeah. 
they jealous or they hate me. I guess they all have their own PhD. I wish that they would just stop sweating me. Stop trying to get the best of me. No matter what they say, baby. Gotta move on cause we're gonna be epic. But I can't help how I feel. It's obviously tough, but I've come in to a situation where you're sure. All right, vlog. So our food is coming. So the girlies have gone to get the food. Why is Lana? We're watching Love Island. Why is Lana? Why did Lana use um, Casey to build her self-esteem back up and then go back to Ron, even though he treats her badly? The question on everybody's lips. I don't think there's anything wrong with her wanting Ron. If that's who you like, that's who you like. Um, he's not treated you well, but fine. But I feel like it was quite unfair to use Casey to make Ron jealous and also build up her self-esteem. Like, get her to the point of feeling confident in herself, feeling wanted, and then being like, bye. Which is what I feel like she's done. I think the I love yous are a bit much from Shaq and Tanya, but if they love each other, they love each other. Who am I to say what's genuine and what's not? Um, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about this Love Island. I really want Jordan and Tanya to work. But I feel like, because he's not, like, flirting with her, he's not giving her the energy that our girl requires so we'll see how it goes and maybe we'll get some opinions from the girlies when they get back but yeah so far so good cute movie night right. so my yeah. favorite run who wants to pass it i want to do the burger just in case okay. so what do we think of what do we think of tanya what? tanya's performance yeah, tonight guys no, tanya for she might be taller do you think i don't think she's taller than you yeah, tanya for president tanya who's for was she the best dance um, Tanya. Tanya was alright still. So. Tanya, Tanya was shaking it, but yeah, I think Tanya did more. Out of the guys, Shaq. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Shaq had a really yeah, good. Yeah, he dance. had like. He, remember his hair was down. He had okay, that. Yeah. Sexy yeah Shaq had a good. Yeah. Shaq had a good dance. And Chale, a nice body. It was a very interesting episode. Yeah. We go again tomorrow. Yeah. Run out. Yeah. Run. Run out. And Lana. Lana. And Lana. They need to and go Olivia. together. Livia. Yeah. She's got and to go. Kai. GTK. As a matter of fact, yes, those Before two couples. If we could, eviction. if we could do a double eviction, yeah. a double vote and vote out two couples, it's yeah. Kai and Olivia yeah. and Ron and Lana because they're too enough yeah, anyways. They gotta go. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> hey vlog, um, your girl is tired. It's actually really late. I've only packed one box and my speaker. I'll just show you. So that box is packed with all of my records and my speakers are packed. When I wake up, I'm gonna pack my vinyl record player and I'm gonna take down my prints and then I'm gonna pack my tech. I am gonna have you guys like there with me. Okay, so I'm annoying enough to feel like a voiceover is necessary here. So I'm just gonna walk you through what I did. I started off that day by uh, getting the box from under my bed to pack up my vinyl record player. I really think it's important to make sure you keep the boxes of the things that you know you wanna keep safe and are important to you and for me very fragile very important to me is my vinyl record player because duh that's a bit of me um music is my life so i needed to make sure that was safe really proud of past lex for keeping this box and doing future lex a favor my record player is intact and flourishing then i shredded some letters it's crazy the amount of letters that you accumulate in a year yeah the bills they've been on my neck I moved. 
I've been away because I moved. So yeah, moving process was not smooth. Um, and I'm dealing with the back end of it, but yeah. This is my new room. I haven't even put sheets on my bed. Um, well, I did, but I stripped them because I'm going to put different sheets on my bed. But yeah, I moved. I haven't figured out how I want my room to be yet. Um, so you guys are getting an exclusive. Uh, read all about it. Extra, extra. Read all about it. So yeah, I moved. I moved. Right now, I'm just in the kitchen sorting things out. So maybe I'll bring you with me and you can watch me put plates away <laughs> uh just need to like uh, figure things out but there are boxes everywhere if you've ever moved then you will totally understand what I'm on about but yeah uh I moved that's really like the long and short of it really <laughs> yeah Um, so far today, so much has been going on. I've had a maintenance man in to regrout parts of my bathroom um, and I've just been trying to sort out my kitchen. So let's show you my flat. It's not really gonna be a tour because how can it be a tour with the lights off? Um, let me just show you what I'm working with in my front room and I've done a lot so far today already. I'm working with all of this. So I'm just gonna put some stuff away in the kitchen. It's already afternoon because I didn't want to film while work was being done in the flat. So I am going to just put away some more kitchen things and then I'm gonna go and start my day properly. I've got some errands to run. Apparently there's something waiting for me downstairs um, in my parcel room, according to my man, my man, my man. So I'm gonna uh, set you guys up, put some stuff away in the kitchen and then um, go outside to run some errands, I'll bring you with me. Oh, jackpot! <gasps> oh. One of our glasses broke. This freaking sucks. Because these glasses are so beautiful. But one of them's broken. <sighs> now this flat has less storage than the last. I don't know where the hell we're going to put our mugs. Maybe we could get like a mug hook. Maybe we could get a mug hook and it can just go like in the corner. I think a mug hook would be good. I'm on a quick food break. It's now like 10 to four, my phone's dying and I haven't eaten anything. So we are gonna have a bagel. I'm gonna venture out to the hair shop, the beauty supply store to get some gummy wax cause I wanna do my hair to look cute for dinner tonight. It's not even just for dinner, it's just cause like, I'm also gonna be working tomorrow and I'm not feeling this. My hair's been fighting back. I'm gonna, um, yeah, go get something to slick my hair and also get my toes done. It's been a really long time since I got my toes done, so. So I just picked up gummy wax for my hair and now we're gonna do my toes. It's getting dark already, my goodness. How beautiful are my roses? I did the JT lip and this is me for Valentine's Day. Hey vlog, um, for the past week, I've had no microwave. And now do you. Shout out to my boyfriend for buying me a microwave. Today, I have a decorator coming to paint the rooms 
it's been a long story. They were already painted. They weren't up to standard. They need to be painted again. Um, so yeah, decorators come in. Um, problem is my back is absolutely killing me. I can't stand for, um, I can't even, it's, I literally can't stand for longer than 15 minutes. Um, and I need to move things. The whole reason why my back's hurting again is because it's been triggered by da -da -da -da, moving things. Um, so I haven't had the best moving experience um, to my new flat. Uh, it's been a lot of work that I just shouldn't have had to do, really. But the decorators come in. I need to be prepared for that. So that is what I'm about to get prepared for. So right now, this is my room as happy with it as I can be but look at all my stuff by the walls the walls that need to be painted but I've got work to do on that iMac so I'm gonna move my iMac I'm putting this stuff in a bag because Usually it will just be slapping all over the um, the floor. I'm also taking my home pod out of here. My back is killing me. Oh Lord. But yeah, I'm taking my home pod out of here as well so that I can make sure it's safe from paint. My poor baby iMac. All right, update. It's some work being done out there. There's always something in this area. Um, so, yeah, it's really loud and so I can hear the main road, um, which is not exciting, but should I show you guys my front room? Do you know what it is? The reason I don't show you guys things is because I have so much shame. But the decorators here, I've moved like as much as I can and now my back is on fire. Anyway, my IMAX here, so we're going to just get to work. All right, my lovelies. So, as you can see, I've changed. I've literally changed. Um, it wasn't just an outfit change. Like, I had a whole shower. Like, I felt like I needed a bit of self-care. So, that's what I did. And for me, self-care always starts with a bath. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I had a shower. Um and sorting my life out. I did a bit of editing, I've been working, I've been working, I've been working. That's literally all I've done today, so I'm just gonna put away some dishes. <laughs> Haven't quite figured out where everything is going to go, apart from the standard things like cutlery, because this flat has less storage than my last flat. Which I don't love, you know, I obviously don't love that. But I cooked um, mac and cheese last night. It was a very different type of mac and cheese. It wasn't actually macaroni. Let's just call it a cheesy pasta dish. But it was delicious. I'm in love with this pasta, by the way. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. You know, this little one that looks like a bow. Obsessed. It just feels like it's a lot lighter to eat, which I love. And it goes down a treat. So, yes, from me. Um, I don't have many dishes to wash, it's just that I've got two pots and a plate, so let's wash up. I absolutely do miss my old kitchen lighting because it was better. <laughs> like, simply put, it was actually a lot better than this. It's quite dark over the side of the kitchen, and probably because I have a kitchen window now, um, so it's supposed to let natural light in and in the daytime it is great but in the night it is actually 
pretty dim over this side. And I'm not a fan of dim lighting. So, yeah, I've got so much Tupperware. And don't ask why I'm washing with these gloves. My other gloves, they are no more. What I think I need to get are like mug hooks because I don't have the same storage space to wear like I was having my mugs in the, in the cupboard anymore. So mug hooks are going to have to be a vibe. Just deciding whether or not they should be like mug hooks that are like tucked away and attached to a cupboard or like a standing, like a mug hook stand, which is what I had in my parents' house, which I think is pretty useful. And there, there is a space on the counter where that can go really trying to avoid having a busy a busy countertop i really hate busy kitchen counters so yeah not pleased that the microwave was not inbuilt like my last one but anyway all right so um Tonight, I need to do some editing, but I haven't been outside all day. So I want to go for like a 15 minute walk and then come back and finish working. Is that a stretch? I just feel like in 15 minutes, like, what do I have to lose? Do you know what I mean? So I think I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it to it. As I'm literally so obsessed with having like a bigger windowsill where I can put things. Do you want to see what's on my windowsill? Is that like a video on its own? <laughs> I'm so childish, but I actually might do like a what's on my windowsill on TikTok. I'll show you though. So right now we've got my beautiful Infinity Roses that are going to literally last forever. We've got Thea. She's been like better behaved than usual. And then we've got the books that I need to actually finish. Obviously I'm doing a Bible plan right now. So I have that um, so that I can read a different version, um, and yeah. This book here, yeah, I've had it for like four years and I haven't finished it. Um, so we're having better habits this year. I've decided I'm gonna wear these. I have not worn my Nike Cortezes in literal years. I got these back when I worked at Shoe. And let me tell you something, that was so long ago. <laughs> that was like over six years ago. And that's how long it's been since I put these bad boys on. Why do they feel tired? So, I just left Tesco, where I literally picked up chicken drumsticks. Um, I was gonna get like protein bars, but then I Googled how much protein is in chicken. <laughs> Cause then what's the point, do you know what I mean? Might as well actually like make food. Um, so yeah, on my way home now. Me and my chicken. All right, I'm back and I'm gonna have my cheesy pasta, but let's change into some shorts and a tank top. This is how you know it's home clothes because look at the clothes, okay. Dinner time. I literally did not eat lunch, so yeah. There's really nothing like eating and enjoying your own food. Mm. Hi guys, I didn't even have to read. All I did was chill small and I'm slumped. I came into my bed after I watched Love Island and here I am, all alone, falling asleep. Ignore my leather pants, I hung them there because <laughs> I don't want to hang them with the rest of my stuff. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed catching up with me regarding my move. The next few vlogs will be me trying to settle into my new flat. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.